is Chukwu uh, and it's my honor to moderate this session. Um, and the focus of this session too is remittances and opportunities for partnership. We've already heard a little bit about partnerships in the earlier discussions. And we have three excellent um, speakers, well qualified to discuss this issue. Um, let me introduce the first person who is uh, Vincent Maria Rapusura. Uh, he is the Chief Executive Officer of the Social Enterprise Development Partnerships. He established that he um, primarily focuses on capacity building of microfinance institutions. He has recently uh, delivered training courses on remittance operations to MFIs in the Philippines and Indonesia. Uh, Vince has also delivered financial literacy training to diaspora organizations in the Netherlands, Belgium, Luxembourg, and Dubai. And I know that these training has resulted in uh, investment flows uh, into these countries. Uh, so, um, without further ado, Vince, uh, your 10 minutes. Yeah, thank you, Chukwu. Um, so, our organization is uh, Social Enterprise Development Partnerships. As Chukwu said, uh, we are primarily a capacity building uh, organization for microfinance institutions. Uh, but recently, we also established a new one, uh, and we call it uh, P Capital, and we are now uh, using this organization to mobilize investments uh, from uh, diaspora organizations and from philanthropists in the Philippines to be invested in microfinance institutions. Um, so I'd just like to share what, uh, what we do in terms of uh, mobilizing uh, uh, investments from uh, uh, diaspora organizations or the migrants. Um, so I, I'm, I'm, it, this is uh, primarily focusing on the Philippines uh, where we live. Um, a lot of times I also feel like uh, an overseas Filipino worker or a diaspora because I'm always out of the country and uh, uh, I, I, I feel what the, the migrants are uh, talking about and at the same time uh, being in the Philippines I also see what's happening on the ground. Um, so our strategy for uh, mobilizing uh, uh, remittances stems from the fact that uh, remittances is uh, personal, it's private money. And uh, uh, knowing that, we have to start uh, somewhere personal as well. And so we started with uh, conducting uh, financial literacy or financial education to uh, Filipino diaspora organizations. And uh, uh, what we found out is that a lot of migrants are actually, uh, a lot of Filipino migrants have low financial literacy levels. And if we want to mobilize investments from them, they have to fix their uh, financial uh, performance first before they are able to invest. So in, we facilitate uh, financial literacy training, and then uh, from there, uh, they provide uh, investments. And we act as the portfolio manager of this investment. Uh, we chose to be a portfolio manager because a lot of times we have uh, we have found out in our research that migrants uh, typically invest in businesses uh, back home, but a lot of them, a lot of these businesses fail. So um, to mitigate, uh, and we call this uh, kind of uh, doing business as remote control business. The control is coming from abroad, and the business is being implemented in the Philippines and uh, there are a lot of uh, communication gaps going on, the, the migrant doesn't have control over the business, and ultimately, a lot of them fail. So what we do is to provide alternatives uh, for these migrants <clears throat> to invest in the Philippines through the various uh, uh, investment channels that we provide. We invest in social enterprises and microfinance institutions in the, in the Philippines. So uh, from the investments, we uh, provide investment to microfinance institutions and social enterprises. Um, typically, we uh, get investments from uh, migrants, and we provide a return of uh, uh, 6 to 10% per annum, depending on the amount of the investment. And then uh, we pass it on to the microfinance institutions and social enterprises at 13%. So we have around... Uh, uh, five, uh, three to five percent spread for our uh, organizational sustainability. <clears throat> and in turn, um, this is where I, I think the, ef uh, the effect of uh, uh, one way of leveraging remittances for productive purposes 
is that we are able to use migrant money to be invested in microfinance institutions and social enterprises, and this in turn um, uh, lend this out or invest it to uh, for job creation and for uh, supporting uh, micro enterprises, enhancing their products or expanding their uh, business operations. So this is uh, primarily our model, and then <clears throat> we provide the return on investments. So let me also briefly talk about uh, the experience that we have uh, uh, that we have in terms of uh, mobilizing investments. Uh, so as I have said, the strategy that we chose for mobilizing migrant investment is through financial literacy. Um, and then uh, because we also saw, saw that most migrants have low, low financial uh, literacy, uh, and this, this could be seen in, in, um, in, in a lot of ways, and I've, I've uh, uh, given here two examples that uh, are typically found in specifically for Filipino migrants. They are always tempted to do trivial spending. Uh, once a family member calls uh, back home, uh, give me, buy me a new pair of shoes, uh, buy me a new mobile phone, then they immediately give it. Uh, they also have a lack of uh, financial planning for themselves. Uh, they don't think uh, in the long run. Um, a lot of them, uh, uh, the tendency for Filipino migrants is that a lot of them grow old not having enough money to uh, retire. Uh, and so that's that's what we are trying to address. Um, migrant invest when 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 we took take a look at the uh, characteristics of uh, Filipino migrant investors, they look for security and accessibility of the investments that they make. Um, the the return on investments or the yield on investment is the last one that, that they are concerned about. The very important thing for them is that you have to make sure that uh, investment is secure. And that's why in, in, in SETP, what we try to do is to be very transparent in our financial dealings and uh, providing reports uh, to um, the investors as well. Um, and we also found out that migrants invest more when enterprises are located near or in their, the enterprises themselves are located in their hometown. Uh, we uh, we see that they want to have a sense of affinity or connection that what they are uh, investing will help their hometown ultimately so uh, this is these are the things that we have uh, experienced